All right, I'm going. Hey guys, welcome to the Amaryllis Conservatory this evening. Check out these beauties we have on display. To this side, we have the primary hybrid known as Hippiastrum San Antonio Rose. This beauty was created by William Bell from Florida, and it's a cross of Hippiastrum alicum variety stenopetalum and the now extinct Hippiastrum trobii forma duraniae. Now, we're doing some crosses with this one. It's said to be sterile, but we've tried Hippiastrum alicum. Hippiastrum papilio and we're gonna try a couple more but we will report back to you and let you guys know if we have any successes Let's Zoom over to this flower One we've shown in our previous videos. This is Hippiastrum punicium, the Puerto Rican form and As you can see we're working on the fourth flower of this scape True perfection Simplicity and beauty Now let's take a look down here on the ground these are pineapple lilies. Scientific name, Eucomus camosa. They're a member of the Asparagaceae family. That's the asparagus family. You might not look in these and say, hey, that looks like an asparagus, but this is indeed an asparagus cousin. So let's take a close look at these flowers here. Not only are they beautiful, but these guys are fragrant. And we always love that extra dimension in the garden. One cool feature of the San Antonio Rose Hippiastrum that we haven't pointed out yet is this beautiful purple midrib on the back of the leaves. A nice feature passed on from Hippiastrum trabii. According to some sources, this particular plant was a result of embryo rescue. Not sure 100% if that's true or not. Sounds cool. And that may be a part of why it has fertility issues. But we're still holding out and hoping that we can produce seed from this or use the pollen on another plant because what a magnificent hippiastrum. Thank you, William Bell of Florida, for breeding this guy. Let's take another good look at Hippiastrum punicium. What a beauty. According to Plant Delights, the San Antonio Rose is resistant to virus. And it may be resistant to some, but there are so many virus that can infect Hippiastrum. And we believe that we had seen some San Antonio Rose in another friend's garden that did indeed have had some sort of virus. But what a beautiful plant. Thank you for tuning in with the Amaryllis Conservatory. We'll see you guys again soon.